What's up, everybody? This is Jeff with Beatrice Tamiata. We're back here with another episode. Uh, it's been a few days since I've made a video. Um, I've just been super busy with work and, you know, having a baby and taking care of her and, you know, housely duties. It's, it's kind of taken a toll on my channel here. And I feel like uh, you guys are long overdue for a new video. I don't actually have uh, two to three videos on this one. Uh, one starting with the car. I got some new stuff going on with it. I believe you guys may or may not like it. I've gotten a lot of eh, responses on it. Is I have a new shop tool. The wife actually bought me an early uh, Father's Day present from the Walmarts. And I actually kind of needed one of these for quite some time. Uh, with this video, I'm actually going to do... Um, I'm actually going to do the car first, so if you guys just come with me, we shall find out. Alright, we're going to step out here into the gay garage. And... So, like I said, got a new thing going with the car. I have painted the wheels. So I finally come up with... a color. After three years of trying to figure out what I've wanted. It is... Uh, I forgot what the paint code was. It came off a 2017 uh, Buick... Envision. Uh, it's a metallic -y red uh, or burgundy red kind of color. Uh, I'll throw some pictures on here of an uh, actual daylight. It's kind of raining outside, so can't really get a good, clear view of this. Uh, I will paint the roll bar the same color, don't you worry, and I do have the center caps. So, uh, here's the center caps. These are uh, Mini Cooper wheels. They came off a Mini Clubman S or something like that, and they are 4x100, so they fit perfectly fine. I so here are the center caps. They did have little metal... Uh, pieces that were glued on and they actually had uh, mini the word mini stamped in it and so I popped those out because it was just held in with glue inside here those little square holes down inside yeah, I popped that out through there the little micro screwdriver and then the glue was actually just a little dab right here not a whole lot it was kind of strange so what we're gonna do is we're going to use this bad boy and some of this good stuff. Uh, sand multi purpose stuff. This is what we use to repair bumpers at work. Uh, it is very expensive. It's like $50, I think. Or no, $30 to $50. It's pretty expensive. And only that, it only comes with the one tip. So you'll have to go and get new tips. But since we fix cars on a regular basis, we have a huge stockpile of these. And then when you work on plastic, 
if you get it down into the actual plastic itself, you'll need to get some adhesion promoter. Because if you don't, your stuff won't stick very well, from what I've been told. So I just follow the procedures and just go on. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a new tip on here. We're going to squeeze some out. And we're going to fill up the cavity area there. Fill in this area until it's nice and flush. We'll sand it down. And then we'll put a uh, vinyl printed uh, emblem back on top of the actual paint itself. And then we'll clear coat the whole piece. Which, granted, yeah, you guys probably won't see that right now, uh, obviously, because it's this, and I want to get you guys a new video. So, get a closer look at it. There we go. But, yeah. Cool, huh? Alright, guys. Um, I will try to get another video out on the center caps. It just depends, so... Anyway, uh, thanks for guys, or thank you guys for watching, and we will see you shortly. Peace out.